YouTube, YouTube, YouTube is Rico man back with another video. Y'all see what we got going on, man. We got top 10 YouTubers that quit. Yes, quit. But um, I didn't even know some of these YouTubers. Some of them I, I have probably like one could based off of the thumbnail I have seen before. But um, yeah, man, these other ones, I got to see who they are because I never heard of them probably. But other than that, though, man, y'all see what's going on. We finna get straight into the video. So if you're brand new, hit that subscribe button because we upload daily, daily videos every single day bangers at that so if you want to make sure you stay up to date on us uploading definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell button because you don't want to miss when we upload and also if you know people that might mess with our content definitely share our channel with those people because like i said we got bangers every single day on this channel so y'all don't want to miss out but other than that let's go ahead and get into it but first let me start the screen record that started wait all right now it's started and starting the video now sometimes it's just better to walk away welcome to watchmojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 youtubers that quit before we begin we publish new videos every day so be sure to subscribe for more great content for this list, we will be looking at YouTubers that decided, at some point in their career, to stop making content on the YouTube platform. This could be for controversial reasons, or just because they decided to do something new. Even if they later return to YouTube, they're still eligible for the list. Number 10. Kingsley As a creator of pop culture related vlogs and videos, Kingsley became fairly popular in the early days of YouTube, earning around 1 million views on every video that he uploaded. However, in 2014, Kingsley decided that making this content wasn't exactly something that he enjoyed anymore. He explained that the platform was becoming more of a business for certain people, and this caused him to take a break for a while. However, after years of inconsistent uploads, he finally returned to make videos regularly in 2017. Number 9. Rinri Gay. I never heard of Kingsley, but um, I'm going to have to go check him out. But basically, YouTubers, everybody got to understand... Just because you're making some type of good money off of it, whether you are a big YouTuber, etc., etc., whatever the case may be, just because you're making good money off of it doesn't mean that's something you're gonna want to do the rest of your life. So I can I can see that for a lot of people, but everybody else that basically see these people being successful on YouTube gotta understand just because you're doing something that you're successful at for so long. And making good money doesn't mean you have to stick with doing that because you never know these people might be getting other opportunities like the guy said earlier in the video these people could be off of youtube mainly because they probably not happy with what they're doing anymore they wanted to do something new or they had some incidents where they have to get off youtube and basically go in and do something else by by um but basically by force pretty much because they probably didn't want to leave when they left because there's probably some other reasons why they had to, but I can see what he mean. But yeah, man, I just gotta let y'all know that. Game Game. This was a smaller channel with a cult following, but it was still a notable departure from the site. Rinri produced content that focused on retro video games, many of which were overlooked or forgotten about completely. Unfortunately, due to not uploading anything since May of 2014, the same can be said for the channel itself. It was announced shortly before vanishing that they had begun a partnership with classic gaming website, Retroware. However, he seemed to fade away from that too. No notice of their departure was given, and there has been no sign of a return. This has led to many fans speculating about the cause of their disappearance. Number 8. Jeepers Media slash the- Yeah, that dude sound weird. Like, y'all just disappear, and pretty much none of your, your subscribers and supporters hear from you ever again. So, that dude kind of sound real weird, but hopefully nothing crazy happened, anything like that. But you just never know, man. But, let's go. Toy Channel. With one of YouTube's more silly and interesting personalities during the late 2000s, Mike Mozart loved making videos that shared his thoughts on children's toys and games. His biggest series was the Fail Toy Review, where he played around and shared his dislike for some very poorly designed toys. This was until 2012, when he decided to stop creating videos and instead continue his work as an artist. He has since sporadically uploaded a few videos here and there, most of which announced live streams of the creation of his art. While many fans miss his toy reviews, it is clear that art is his passion. Number 7. Waste Time Chasing Cars 
A creator of a variety of content, but mainly focused on comedy sketches, Mac Freeman just seemed to enjoy experimenting with different kinds of ideas. His most notable video was Lightsabers Are Fun, which was viewed over 6 million times. This was a pretty big deal for the YouTube of 2008. He continued uploading comedy sketches to his channel until the fall of 2012 when his last video, In My Mind, was uploaded. This was an entry for a music video competition, which indicated that maybe Mac had ambitions of making more serious content. Unfortunately, he left the site without a word after the release of that video. Number Never heard of him, but I might go check out some of his older videos just because stuff like that is interesting to me. But, um, yeah, man, the time frame that these people leave in so far is just weird. Like, it's crazy that a lot of them, too, go unexplained. So, kind of crazy to be watching somebody and then all of a sudden they just disappear out of nowhere and don't hear nothing from them ever again. But, hey, they just never know what's going on. Six. Red Key Mon. Grand Theft Auto is often the subject of online discussion, and many people even have channels that focus exclusively on the controversial game series. Red Key Mon was one of those channels, with videos that showcased cool stunts, short films, and other things that revolved around GTA V. However, during the peak of the channel's popularity, he disappeared without a word. This led to numerous fans to speculate about the reason for his disappearance. Some said that he wanted to move on and do something else, while others say that he died in a bus crash. There isn't much evidence to back up the latter, though. Number five, Miss Hannah Ming. And that's crazy. Like I said, the, the way these people just disappear without a trace and not even hear nothing from them ever again is just crazy. But back then, I, for sure, GTA 5, when it came out, the stunt videos, a lot of gaming people used to go crazy and uh, um, get a lot of viewers watching their videos, man. Because those stunts on GTA was definitely... A time back then when it first came out but hey man that's just crazy and then he disappeared on top of that at the height at basically the peak that these videos was reaching with viewers and stuff like that so it's just crazy that he just up and disappeared like that obsessed with Japanese culture she spent a lot of her time on YouTube cosplaying as anime characters and teaching her fans new words and phrases with her series Japanese word of the week she also frequently talked about her love for anime and Japanese toys However, Hannah mysteriously vanished from the platform in mid-2013, with her last video being a vlog from Comic-Con. Since she left without announcing anything, a lot of her fans produced conspiracy theories and compilations of evidence to figure out what she has been up to all of this time. Number 4, Kev Jumba. A creator of many comedy sketches and vlogs on different topics, Kev Jumba was known for his deadpan delivery, hilarious tangents, and his awesome dad. Famous for his video, <laughs> Nice Guys, a collaboration with fellow YouTuber Niga Higa, Kev Jumbo was one of the top creators on the platform. He was even popular enough to break into the movie business in 2014. However, everything was brought to a halt in 2015 due to a car accident. He has publicly discussed how badly this accident changed his life, and how the situation ruined his motivation to do anything. Luckily, Kev eventually returned hey. to YouTube, and while he doesn't post as often, it's still good to have him back. Number three. Well, at least in his situation, y'all heard what happened, and pretty much he was able to make his way back, but when something like that happened, yeah, it's definitely going to be a huge blow to your motivation to do something. But the good thing is he didn't stay down for too long and came back and did what he was doing before. And people pretty much that supported him still support him and able to see his career moving forward. So shout out to him for that. Now, this guy, I know exactly who he is because y'all already know he used to be in the, um, I think he was in Drake and Josh once. And then later on, he did his own movie, and John Cena was his dad in that movie. For y'all that remember that movie, comment down below, because I forgot the name of it. But I remember he did do a movie with John Cena, but it was on Nickelodeon. Fred. And I never knew he started off doing YouTube. Oh, it was iCarly, not Drake and Josh. It was iCarly. But I never knew that he started off doing YouTube and stuff, because back then... YouTube ain't the same exactly like how it is now, so it's crazy. Remember this voice. I'm going outside during a thunderstorm morning. It looks as if a tornado's forming. Fred was a comedy channel run by Lucas Cruikshank before YouTube became the platform that it is today. The show had a very large following, so much so that Fred reached the mainstream media with the release of three separate movies. Alright, there we go. Yeah, on Fred TV the movie. Shows like I, Carly. However, as time went on, the show started to lose popularity, and by 2014, Lucas decided to stop making Fred episodes. 
After trying his hand at different series ideas and videos, Lucas left the channel to make content away from the Fred moniker. Number two, FPS Russia. This was a channel that was loved by millions, but became overshadowed by controversies. Many tuned in to watch a man with an exaggerated Russian accent shoot a lot of different guns and watch stuff blow up. However, the channel went on hiatus in 2013. There were many problems behind the scenes that are believed to have contributed to this, including the murder of a member of the production team. While the channel made a brief comeback, it didn't last long, as Kyle Myers, the star of the videos, was arrested for possession of illegal substances in 2017. Number 1. Ray William Johnson Formerly the most subscribed channel on YouTube, RWJ was a powerhouse on the platform, mainly through his signature show, Equals 3. The show gained so much momentum that it seemed like it couldn't be stopped. However, as time went by, Ray decided that it was time to move on and try other things. At the same time, he also faced problems with his network, Maker Studios. Therefore, in 2014, he left the show. While he was replaced by a number of different hosts, most of them were met with extreme backlash from fans. Ray eventually returned to his channel, but stuck to vlogging instead of continuing Equals 3. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other... Alright guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Some of, like I said, some of these people I already know I wasn't going to know about, but uh, I'm going to definitely go check some of them out, and y'all might want to as well, so definitely go ahead and do that. But if you guys enjoyed this video so far, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget, man, we on the grind on this channel. We trying to get to 1500, then after that, it's the big grind of 5K. So if you're brand new and you watch our videos, but you for some reason ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. It doesn't hurt to do that. And turn on your notification bell button just so you know when we upload so that way you don't miss out but other than that though man excuse me but um see y'all later on with more videos and i'll see y'all later peace